Policy 60, develop the YPO Valley Heritage Center, including support for its educational support programs such as the YPO Education and Information Program, or what is known as the YPO Valley Rangers Program, and support the community-based management of that heritage center through a lease or community, community oh, sorry, cooperative use agreement with the County Department of Pop Parks and Recreation. So both those overlap with education and also culture quite a bit because that's such a big um, factor in perpetuating the culture and honoring the culture is that educational component. So we'll talk a little bit, a bit again, it's a, it's a separate bullet, but they overlap quite a bit. And so far, those are some of the main ways that the CDP um, addresses that. And um, in the COCUA actions, gets into agriculture and the community actions then, if we get to there, we are, um, community action 16 encourages a 5013C nonprofit entity to form for community empowerment to develop a land management partnership. So if that's something that's already in the works or has happened, that's something that could be updated or if that needs to be revised and developing a detailed master plan for YPO Valley, including a community-based management plan for the YPO Valley Heritage Center. So this is not particularly on the county side, this is something that we're acknowledging it, the community groups would be the main leader in initiating these so they can help um, direct these plans for YPO Valley. So this, I guess this, this um, uh, what you put together was before um, realizing that there were certain conditions on uh, <coughs> our public open space um, properties. And is this related to, how is this particular policy related to Ponk in that way? Well, there, you the had- The property that it's talking about is the, is the um, property that the Ponk money was used for. Oh. The Heritage Center. That yeah, okay. I said, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting the Heritage Center on Punk. Oh, okay. You cannot have like parking lots. <laughs> you cannot have structures oh. because it's open space. Right, right. So they're just, they're, the, the Alliance is looking at other possibilities of what can be done. Okay. So they're working on that. So to say that it is um, for a visitor center at the Waipio Valley Lookout, they're that's the TMK is our um, public open space. Okay, so that's that's new to the conversation, that issue of okay. Yeah, it's been brought up in the past um, the past months. That yeah, that's, that's, that's that right. firm. Exactly. <coughs> who who um? It's it's they've been meeting with Parks and Rec. I've been in yeah. meetings with them as well, and there are the the rules and the um, you know so you got to look at all the policies and the rules and. Ordinances and so that's the official word now. Yeah, it's it's it been that way because, like in Kohanaiki, that's why they couldn't, they cannot do, par you cannot do parking lots. You cannot. So if you do put up a structure or something like that, you would require handicap accessible uh, parking stalls. You would accessibility to um, the restrooms and all. And there is no county water to White Peel. Uh, Valley Lookout, and that, that is one of the major uh, um, obstacles as well, is county water, and I think the, the alliance, the YPO Valley um, Alliance, is looking at meeting with the county water department to look at other po what, what are the possibilities for water in that area. So they're still working out a lot <laughs> of these details. Okay, so this whole policy needs to be really looked at again yeah, and talked with the, mm -hmm. I would definitely say the, uh, yeah, the well, alliance needs mm -hmm. to uh, give you a lot of feedback into this okay. area as well. Because the alliance is, is the YPO Terra Farmers Association, sure. right. Right. Paola YPO and the YPO. Oh yeah, that's a new issue because that, yeah. that was not part of our understanding. So okay, I mean, that's... Uh, excuse me if, if I can, yeah. please. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the idea of the educational uh, uh, Waipio Valley Heritage Center, that, that is no doubt a good idea. I mean, you know, somehow we want to try and utilize, you know, that as sort of a learning uh, facility uh, for people 
to you know go through some kind of an orientation program mm -hmm. before they actually come down into the valley. Right, right. I mean, you know, uh, the effort that the Ranger program is doing is you know a really fast and you know a lot of the times the, the the people that go through you know that information it goes in one side and goes out the other side. As soon as they start going down the road, they forget about what they were told. Yeah. I mean, you know, as a for instance, you know, going up to the waterfalls and all of that. Uh, so the whole idea uh, of this uh, Heritage Center is to, you know, hopefully try and implement something that's more than just, uh, uh, you know, a minute talk. Uh, something maybe even like a half an hour orientation uh, to get people really familiar with mm -hmm. the do's and don'ts of going down into the valley. And, you know, in terms of uh, the location, uh, while the, the, the rice property may have been uh, uh, initially thought of as the location for the heritage and uh, the funding used to purchase the rice property, the pump funds, doesn't allow for, you know, buildings, right. parking lots. So we, we're looking at other alternatives to still utilize the property, but maybe have the building situated elsewhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's really good to know. That's that's a big difference. Okay. So we can get more information on that. But if it's still a priority as far as developing that, then that's good to know and it, it won't disappear. But this reference to the TMK might need to change. So thank you for that. Uh, representatives in our district and you know, they've tried different things, but they still haven't worked. We still don't have the infrastructure. We still have the same amount of land with the same amount of parking. Mm -hmm. So bringing anything more into that area is already hazardous, and that's why the Ranger program came to existence. Yeah. It wasn't only to educate the people, but you know, like kind of control the traffic that was impacting that whole lookout. Yeah. So I don't know how you're going to fit this in, but that would be <coughs> a concern for me. Right. Yeah. Do, do you guys take numbers? You take numbers of the visitors, right? While you're there. Okay. So and and since you've been doing it, has it been growing every year? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. seems like it's more every time. Yeah. And okay. another thing that is added on, you know, um, is with the, the outside information, guidebooks mm -hmm. versus right. what we say. So in like Nolan said, what we educate them on versus what they read, uh -huh. they think in what they read is the right. true way yeah. than what we try That's to educate them yeah. about, you know, and it's part of the challenge. And like Deb said, and I knew that was going to happen, as soon as you put a structure jail right there, you know, the congestion, yeah. everybody going to come to that, going to uh -huh. to that area. And we can, we get overloaded, yeah? And yeah. the development, nothing in that area, so. That has always been a problem, excuse me, you know, for the um, YPO Tower Farmers Association from way before, because you have so much congestion there. So when the, um, the county, you know, said that there was a possibility of getting the rice's property, you know, it was a relief to us that we would have some kind of right. um, maybe a little bit more parking or, you know, moving the parking away from the lookout. Yeah. 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 And right now, there's only the the facilities for people to relieve themselves is up at the, yeah. Um, yeah. the lookout, you know, and not everybody can get down there. No, I know. Yeah. Right. So what the hope was, you know, um, a lot of tourists don't want to go into the valley, but they want to know what the valley is about. Right. So if we could entertain them, you know, right. they come, they see what, you know, they feel connected and they move on because they're on a timetable too. Yeah. So what <clears throat> I'm hearing now is, you know, like, everything sounds good. That could be, but let's take care of the infrastructure. That has been the problem. Sure. It's a safety issue too. Yeah. yeah. More so. Yeah. And we'll get into safety a little bit more later, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Good point. So, as uh, curiosity, do you do you hand them anything? Is there any printed material that is distributed? And we have the brochures. You have brochures, okay. And who pays for that? It's more of a control thing. It's more of if we really interact with them yeah. and they're interested, okay. then, then we hand it out. But other than that, we um, when I repeat myself oh, yeah, I 20 know. times, 100 <laughs> times, 1,000 times, 
Yes. Um, I do the same thing. Okay. And I physically go out. We physically go out. So if you hand them something, is it is it paid for by Hawaii Tourism Authority or her? No, it's paid no. for by the county. Yeah. Like right. initially yeah. was paid for by Fisher Museum. <coughs> okay. And then Kamehameha Schools, and then. Um, Friends of the Future used to also do it. Okay. And then now the county does actually comes out of Val's office. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. I want to note that. Okay. And in that pamphlet, there's the rules, regulations. Okay. Yeah. Even in case we. Yeah. Okay. Money has always been the issue in taking care of the lookout. Sure. It is the second most visited um, area right? on this island. And so at one point, there was a discussion about putting a toll. A what? A toll booth. Oh, toll, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what they did down at Puna? So you can take care of, you know, taking care of something that people visit, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. and Interesting, okay. Yeah, so if we continually will hear that, you know, the county doesn't have money because it is county properties, you know, I mean, um, Kulianas, like, maybe they thought to come back up again. Okay. You know? We're writing it down. That's interesting. Okay. We will look into that. Uh, okay.